There's a clown on the train, and I think he's staring at me. He's half undone. His close-cropped hair, his dark skin smudged with hints of rouge and eyeliner. He's looking at me with a slow, leering smile. His body slumped into the train seat. I look away and see the streetlights come on as we head underground. It's Sunday and I'm heading home from the Y as the world prepares for the next work day. Stores close, hipsters, old couples, and young parents head indoors to make preparations for their nightly renewal. The children are bathed and the cat is fed. A book is laid down as the covers are pulled up. On the weekend, the movements change, the routines shift. The dark brings a strange hope and unfettered anticipation. Every weekend is the same bar or new party with old people. Everyone secretly thinks that maybe tonight will be the night to find a love of a lifetime or make some magical connection. Everyone has their own fantasy, but they're all the same. Every need will be satisfied, like winning the Fix Your Life lottery. A mystery man with impeccable style will materialize without warning, like Willy Wonka's lackey, Mr. Slugworth who eerily appears out of dark corners at the very moment a golden ticket is found. Except that the stranger of our needy fantasies is a benevolent billionaire who wants to bankroll the next project and make all of our artful dreams come true. No one really knows what to expect from a Saturday night, even though everyone can likely expect much of the same. Routine, disappointment, a solitary end to an uneventful night like the New Year's Eve we painstakingly planned for that rarely lives up to the hype. Still, occasionally, if only sometimes, small surprises brighten a night, turning plans upside down and confounding whatever expectation we might have had as we ventured out on a cold November night, in spite of our better judgment. The day before the clown sighting turned out to be a Saturday night full of promise. New faces, an impressive all-white high-rise apartment with built-in ceiling speakers and a view of the Empire State Building. A party full of self-assured gay men who welcome me, offer me drinks, a cigarette, and tell me I'll be fine. The world is kind and generous, and I leave with a pocket full of business cards. The next day, I'm stealing glances at the lecherous clown from my seat on the train. I imagine him Earlier that afternoon, a properly dressed clown, complete with white face paint and blue hair. He's hung over and bored, a frozen grin in the face of screaming, greedy children who hunger for